Mine was bad, yeah. Bad. Yeah. They go hand in hand for him. Yeah. So yes. yeah, so mine mine was I mean, he smokes weed, but the issue is constant drinking and every time he get hyped, just lost his job. Every time he get hyped on, he get, I've heard there because I left off preaching. Yeah. So I had to walk over here and let y'all know I'm so proud of y'all. Amen, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We appreciate that. That was encouragement. I was asking, I was talking to the Lord today. Before we went out, because I had another brother in Christ had a testimony of encouragement. And uh, even though people get mad and they mock him and they laugh, it but someone matter. sent, yeah, God sent someone to encourage them. And it's like, I was praying for that too. And the Lord sent you over here to encourage us. And also, y'all are doing excellent. Don't let anybody tell you you're wrong. Because we are needing him. And we need to turn back to him, and this, that's why the world's the way it is. Amen. Everybody and everything is turning away from Amen. him. Amen. So I am proud of you. Hey, praise, praise the Lord, man. Thank but you. If you ever want to, 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 yeah, I, I'm going to try to call him because that's my part of My name is Barbara. Okay. Barbara. okay. Thank, yes, you. Can you Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Barbara. I am proud of y'all. That was awesome. I needed y'all today. Trust me. Amen. And man, and the Lord sent us out here too. And I asked that God, I said, where is she coming from? Because I couldn't tell. He said, across the street, but I'm over there. Amen. I said, everybody that come through here, everybody around here needs to be listening to these young men. Amen. Praise I God. I proud of y'all. Do not let anybody discourage Amen. you. Keep his words going. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Amen. 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 I know that the Lord, he Amen. Praise the God. Weary, Praise the, the Lord. So that older lady came across the street. Her name was Barbara. And uh, she encouraged us. Praise God. She encouraged us. And I was praying for that today. I was talking to the Lord before we went out. I was asking him to encourage us. I had read a testimony and watched the video of another brother in Christ that was preaching with his wife. And he was giving a testimony of how everyone out there was mocking him, making fun of them, uh, yelling, cursing them out. But an older lady came up to them and encouraged them, said, keep doing what you're doing. So before we went out today, I was talking to the Lord and saying, Lord, please, like, send us encouragement, too. I was thinking in my mind, like, we need some encouragement as well. So me, me and a brother came out here to come preach. And uh, we didn't know where we were going to go. We kept driving around. There wasn't a lot of people. So I said, let's just go to this four-way right here. Let's stop right here. Even though there might not be a lot of people, who, who cares? We hold up some signs, preach for a little bit, and let God's word go forth. And we're about to wrap it up. And this lady comes running across the street. She was saying she didn't know where the preacher was coming from. She was asking everyone where it's coming from. And the guy said, it's coming from across the street. She came over there and gave us uh, her number, her son's number, and asked us to pray and call him, uh, pray for him. His name's Murphy. He needs prayer. He's uh, addicted to gambling, alcohol, marijuana. And I said, that's awesome because that's part of my testimony. The Lord set me free from gambling. So I thought it was a blessing. And then the Lord used her to encourage us. Uh, she was saying that we were doing everything right for the Lord's, uh, Lord's will. Don't listen to anyone. Be encouraged. And the Lord had set it up. And I felt really refreshed after that. Amen. Sometimes that's what we need to do is ask the Lord to encourage us. The Lord will send people to encourage us, refresh us, and uh, confirm that what we're doing is not in vain. Amen. A lot of people get offended at the preaching of God's holy word. They get offended at the truth. They say that we're too uh, 
bold. We're not loving enough. But God gives us confirmation through others and through his word. And I thank him for that. Praise be to God. Keep going forth with the gospel. Ask God to encourage you. And he'll send an encouragement that he needs to through others or through his holy word. Praise, praise the Lord, Brother Aaron. Hillsborough, Texas, it's time to repent. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we just got done preaching in Hillsborough, Texas. Uh, we were out there off the interstate kind of on a four-way stoplight. There wasn't a lot of people, but we went forth anyways and trusted God that his word would go forth. Uh, when we first started preaching, we had a lady cussing us out, saying some satanic stuff. But we kept preaching anyways and holding up the signs. And towards the end, as Brother Mike was preaching, this lady came crossing the street. Like, she was just crossing the street, not at a crosswalk. I didn't know what was going on. And uh, but she came over there basically in tears after she was done talking with us. And she was asking us to pray for her her son. Please keep him in prayers. I think his name is Murphy. Her name's Barbara. She wanted prayers and for us to call him and encourage him. But she was sent over there to encourage us as well. She said that what we were doing was right, that people need to hear about the Lord. Don't stop anything from what we're doing. Don't change anything. We're doing it. We're preaching right. We're preaching uh, what God wants us to preach. And she came over there so happy to just see people out there preaching and standing for standing in the gap, <laughs> standing in the gap and doing the Lord's will. And uh, she was, she walked off. She was emotional, man. Uh, pray for her son, like I said. But it was such a divine appointment. She came all the way across the street. She didn't know where the preaching was coming from. She came across the street to come encourage us. And it was a blessing to, to see that the Lord had set that up. So please keep her and her son in prayers. Uh, amen. And ask God to send you encouragement. He will, he will do it either through his word or he can do it also through others. Praise the Lord.